Today I am going to explain in next five ten minutes, and I will divide my discussion in three parts. One part is till 2005, when we created a vision 2020 for Andhra Pradesh and implemented it and achieved big things over there. Second was till 2018, when we started working on Andhra Pradesh, new Andhra Pradesh, new capital city, and whole lot of work which was to be done. and we achieved a double digit growth for all four years out of five years in a row which has never happened in the history of india and per capita income in that period in andhra pradesh doubled up in four and a half years which normally is eight years for the country that much was the efficiency in the working and now cbn sir is talking about how we will be next five years next 23 years how india will look like in 2047 and how andhra and he's talking about all telugus in the world how will they be achieving and what they will be doing in the next 23 years so if i go back uh, actually this place shelparamam was allotted by me to the society in 1985 when i was a collector here and uh, ntr was a chief minister he posted me as a collector of rangareddy district and kutiram falls in rangareddy district so i had to meet him at 4 o'clock in the morning whenever there were discussions he also started an institute of political management and public policy we are all political representatives were normally trained by cbn sir and it was a very effective institution then one day cbn sir came to me and talked to me and said that i would like to take up three mandals for development one is kuppam one will be maheshwaram mandal and third will be in guntu and the journey started to have the mini computer in every office collect the database of every family and start working with them in that then he said i would like to have a karshak nagar constructed in hyderabad so the area where we see high tech city he found 450 acres of government land was available karshak nagar was to be established there where all the offices will come up pylon was ready when the elections were preponed and they could not come back so this idea remained but this 450 acres thereafter was used as a high tech city in high tech city again there was a new concept which was brought in which will be of interest to the people who have not seen it our comparison always is with bangalore so bangalore committed a big mistake where bangalore started permitting all it activities within the city and it became a huge problem for the city management traffic management So CBN sir thought that we should have three cities, Hyderabad, Cyberabad, and Sikandarabad. So 26 gram panchayats were identified on this side of the city, where the future growth will happen. But CBN sir always says that when I planned Amravati with the help of Singapore government, I did not have such a huge scientific calculation which route why should it come, which was done for Cyberabad. so this became a very very important thing next point was as i said a futurologist a leader tries to create a vision so he had an idea that we will have a vision 2020 and 2020 was for two reasons 2020 is a perfect vision can we see a vision with 2020 eyes is one and how india will look like how andhra pradesh will look like by 2020 and initially we took some professors from us and we read said that can you prepare the vision for us but it did not work out but mr naidu was always saying we want a vision to be created by mckenzy i was always asking him mckenzy is very costly why should we do it through them now he said no when we are going to the world we are going to people all over the world they know mckenzy and through mckenzy they will know us that here is a leader who is talking about a vision for the state and how it is going to be created So it was a very nice and clear way of going about it then coming back to the work which was there one of the major work which i did along with him was the self help groups or dwakra groups so from zero we reached 1 crore women saving 1 rupee to 5 rupee per day and their corpus becoming 4000 5000 6000 crores i remember we did the first dwakra bazaar in public garden where women will bring whatever they are producing they will bring and they will try to sell we will call designers to look into what they are producing they will see what other women are producing and around that whole lot of movement will start so in about 15 days they used to sell 30 crore worth of products which they were producing anywhere similarly watershed movement became very big in fact incidentally we were almost 
80 percent of the SHG members in the country. Same thing, watershed, the dry areas, no water, extreme poverty, migration. How do we work around them? And again, we started working on that, and 60 percent of watersheds was there. Then came the time when Hyderabad was to be groomed as an international city on lines and competition with Singapore. We used to go to the city at 4 o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon. So CBNs have made 29 visits to the city at random at any given point of time. So to see that whether the things are clean, whether the things are being managed properly. And that's how the name of the place started coming in. And that was the time when iconic tower, LNT tower was created here and Bill Clinton came and a whole lot of things happened around that. It's all story. CBN sir keeps on talking about it. So it's very important to see how he has been thinking, what is there in the mind of the leader. Now we come to the partition days. The state is divided. We go to that side. We don't have a capital of our own. And he says that let us work with Singapore government because they have a perfect method of working out a scientific city. Land pooling. Mr. Kutumra is there and the first day we started talking about land pooling model for Andhra Pradesh. It was a perfect model, never tried anywhere in the world and successfully done with the happiness of all farmers and everyone. Then the design was prepared and a whole lot of things were done. But he was very clear that we have to have a double digit growth. Double digit growth means average growth of the state is around 15 to 16 percent which has never happened, as I said, twice, only once in Maharashtra, once in Tamil Nadu. For two years, double-digit growth has happened. All officers told me, don't take the responsibility. It's not possible to do. We said, no, since the leader is saying we must do, let us start doing on this. I remember, aquaculture budget was only 10 crore, and first year we made the budget to 300 crore. Same thing for livestock, same thing for horticulture. All the things which were planned out in such a scientific way, we achieved on an average around 14 to 15 percent growth for five years. It is unheard of anywhere. Now we come to where we are now and how we are trying to move on. After the last election, we had a discussion. I told him that we have a lot of time before elections will happen. Why don't we create a kind of a forum on the lines of World Economic Forum? Because Mr. Naidu has been going to World Economic Forum almost 14 to 15 years in a row. We have a lot of work which we have done in the past. We have a lot of work which we have to do in future. So can we create a kind of a public policy forum where we will share our ideas, we will bring others' ideas on board and try to see how we can work out. In that process, Vision 2047 for India has come. Vision 2047 for Andhra Pradesh is in the making. Vision 2029 is in the making for Andhra Pradesh. So there are five major points. I am at the last phase of my discussion now. There are five visions which Mr. Naidu has at the moment. He says by 2047, Indians will be global citizens. Economically, India will be number one, not two or three. A lot of reports are telling India will be number two or number three. He says number one. Then he says that Telugus, Telugus includes everyone in Andhra and Telangana, Telugus, non-Telugus, but he's calling them as Telugus. They will have a very big role to play in Indian economy and world economy. We are almost working out a scheme and a policy where every Telugu in anywhere in the world will mentor 8 to 10 children studying and see that they really reach wherever their potential takes them. So he is very clear about it, how to do it, what we have to do. This is one important point he has made. Now, second point he has made is that demography. Now, earlier when we were collectors, we used to talk about family planning and uh, surgical operations. Now, he says no. Our population is coming down very slowly and we have to talk about people having more children. He calls it demographic management, but more critical he is talking about four P's. Till now we are talking about public-private partnership. He says it is not complete with public-private partnership. We have to have people along with it. So every family in a state, every individual in a state, every girl in a state, every mother in a state, has a role in the development and growth of a state. In the state, there will be no discussion about poverty because poverty will not exist, happiness will exist. So 4P is one important thing which he is talking about. Third, he is saying is that technology, research and innovation will play and all the entrepreneurs of future will be on these three areas. How we will do that, what strategy will come out, is all worked out. It has to be taken forward. Then the fourth point he is talking about is water. 
water is going to be very very important so how we are managing like he has a vision that every tank in rail sima will have water plastic culture will be there rail sima will be the seed hub of the world and whole lot of things will happen in rail sima as well as north coastal andhra pradesh so water and finally says energy decarbonization of energy is talking about hydrogen energy ammonia based energy and how this energy will be produced which will be the cleanest and cheapest energy price will he has a very nice concept where every woman in rail sima when she is having a greenhouse then greenhouse itself will produce energy and that energy will belong to her and that's how it will come into the mainstream so there are very big plans for andhra pradesh for telugu for the country and uh, let us hope it all happens that's what a leader does decoding the leader basically means leader will think about something which we have not even visualized and then make it happen along with a proper team and the management so we wish him all the best a lot of things will come they are already coming he is already said 23 years are important all the best thank you thank you